they're ready for you. Uh, thanks so much for coming out tonight. Uh, <laughs> feels so good to sell out Radio City Hall. Uh, and I just want to shout out my makeup crew for taking the day off. <laughs> feels uh, really good. Uh, you can probably tell. You can probably tell by the the way that I'm by that I'm dressed this way. <laughs> uh, I'm not very uh, not very good at negotiating. I am, uh, I am, however, uh, really good at agreeing. <laughs> I'm a natural. <laughs> Unless uh, you guys don't think so. <laughs> uh, I'm an old soul. I'm an old soul. <laughs> yeah, I still listen to Alma Feo. <laughs> <laughs> any, uh, any party rockers in the house tonight? <laughs> uh... These walls, uh, if these walls could talk, <laughs> they'd say, turn down for what? Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, lately, I've been thinking about identifying as she, they, but I, uh, I can't make up my mind about it. It's uh, sort of like those Sean Kingston lyrics, right? It's like, uh, she's indecisive, they can't decide. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm wife material, Mormon style. Yeah, I'm really good in groups. So <laughs> My life is sort of like a sitcom in the way that no one has ever seen me go to the bathroom. <laughs> um Okay, you guys know how in movies, uh, whenever women are involved in pillow fights, it's like generally uh, like hypersexualized. Yeah, sometimes I just want to hit my friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want to hit my friend. Uh, I'm bi, real original, uh, real <laughs> original. Uh, I was born in the year Titanic came out. I think that's the reason I'm bisexual, <laughs> right? Because, like, the queer part of me when I'm watching Titanic is, like, Kate Winslet's pretty hot, right? And then the straight part of me when I'm watching Titanic is, like, when's this freaking shipwreck going to happen? <laughs> uh, enough of this romance. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I came up on my, recently I came up on my one year of living in New York City. Uh, thank you. I uh, actually moved here for a job. Uh, I moved here because I'm the social media person for the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Let me just say, um, not an easy gig. <laughs> not an easy gig. <laughs> that lady has an old way of thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I recently went to Pound Town. <laughs> yeah, I said that wrong, sorry. Um, I recently went to Hashtag Town. <laughs> That's what I call Twitter.com. <laughs> uh, what if ev after every punch I'm like, ayo. <laughs> um, um, I uh, recently, uh, I recently, m uh, I've been uh, microdosing curiosity. <laughs> Lately, I've been microdosing curiosity. I'm at museums like, hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, I've also been microdosing sleep. In the biz, we call that a nap. <laughs> <laughs> the business of sleep, we call that. <laughs> um. I bet. Uh, I bet going to the gym is useful when you go to exercise, right? I've been going because I love machines. <laughs> I walk up to the Stairmaster like, ooh la la. <laughs> uh, actually, um, sorry, wh what, do you, what do you do for work? Work in an office. <laughs> you work in an office? Yeah. 
this guy listens to Weezer, right? <laughs> this guy listens to Weezer. <laughs> Crowd work done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, you guys know how like people who drink orange juice are always bragging about it, <laughs> right? It's like. That's not juice. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, enjoy your orange slop, sickos. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> um, I, I'm pretty good at office politics. Uh, like, I'm, I'm good at being in the middle of two opposing sides. I think that's why I'd be good in a zombie apocalypse, right? Because <laughs> um, I'd go to the humans and I'd be like, these zombies suck, right? These zombies suck. And then I'd go to the zombies and I'd be like, mmm, brains. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have really bad FOMO. My FOMO is so bad. How bad is it? Even when I get a few bug bites on my arm, I'm like, oh, you guys went drinking without me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> um, in terms of my personality, I'm kind of a blank slate. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure my tombstone will read Lorem Ipsum. <laughs> um, I hope I'm reincarnated as a cicada, so I get 17 years to fucking chill. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, everybody loves Raymond. You ever hear about that? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'd hate to be the caterer at that guy's funeral, right? <laughs> That's a lot of finger sandwiches. <laughs> um, only the good die young. Only the good die young. I bet those coffins smell like Axe body spray. Um... I'm uh I'm trying to reach my body goal, so I'm uh on this three week diet. That's where I don't eat for three weeks and I fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> my body goal, <laughs> my <laughs> my body goal to be six feet under the ground. <laughs> um, okay, you guys, did you guys know that when uh, before Abe Lincoln's political career took off, uh, he was a local wrestling champion? Did you guys know that? <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, he fought in 200 contests uh, and only lost once. <laughs> Too bad you can't uh, wrestle a bullet, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> I hate that guy. Uh, does, um, does Mr. Peanut come from money? <laughs> <laughs> or does he just dress like that? <laughs> Doesn't matter, he's dead. <laughs> hey. Ayo, he's fucking dead. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, sorry, I've been kind of goofy. <laughs> Somebody told me recently that I need to be more vulnerable on stage. Uh, so is it okay? Is it okay if I um, do a personal joke? Is it okay if you guys? Okay. I quit the army today. <laughs> yeah. I'm finally out of that place. Thank you. That place was a toxic environment. <laughs> Just the other day, I went over to my sergeant general and I said, sir, yes, sir, I'd like the hardest job in the army, please. I come to find out the hardest job in the army isn't being a mother. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, listen. I'll I'll be for real. I'll be for real. I'll be serious. Um, I'm actually writing a play. I'm writing a play. Thank you. I'm working really hard on it. It kind of explores the boundaries of sexuality. So I'm actually gonna share an excerpt from the play. This is the big monologue of the play. <laughs> yeah, I'm by with a boyfriend. <laughs> So what? <laughs> Lock me up. <laughs> Lock me up. <laughs> and yeah, he does improv. <laughs> and music. Lock me up. <laughs> so that's a play I'm working on. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, 
Yeah, uh, I recently went through a breakup. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> With my subscriptions. <laughs> what up? <laughs> 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 Goodbye, Netflix. So long, Hulu. Farewell, Jeremy Renner app. Premium. <laughs> Uh, no, I am heartbroken. Um, <laughs> no, but it's okay because, like, I got the Nintendo dogs in the breakup. He got the real dog. Rough, rough. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, so um, I've been dating. Yeah, I've been dating. Okay, I've been dating. <laughs> Dating's kind of weird and... Uh, <laughs> I uh, da- I don't know if you guys know this, but dating in this city is kind of tough, <laughs> right? It's kind of tough. Thank you. Um, like I thought about throwing in the towel, but I can't. I only have one. <laughs> uh, it's actually feminist when a woman only has one <laughs> towel. But, um, yeah, I have been dating, and I, I keep matching with guys who wear newsboy hats <laughs> on dating apps. It's kind of upsetting. It's got my uh, panties all in an Oliver twist. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Sorry, um, just sort of spitballing here. Um, Bridge to Terabithia is kind of a sad movie, (laughs) right? It's kind of a sad movie. Like, people think it's sad because the girl dies, right? I think it's sad because the girl dies going to a made-up place. (laughs) That's an embarrassing way to die, right? <laughs> that's like that's like if I died in a plane crash trying to go to like freaking Flavor Town. <laughs> <laughs> that's like if Jesus died trying to go to freaking heaven. <laughs> Roasted the father. <laughs> um, you guys, uh, do you guys know the show Girls? Okay, how come every guy's opinion of the show Girls is like, oh, Lena Dunham, it's so unrealistic she dates Adam Driver in the show, right? It's like the same guys who think this are the same guys who watch the news. (laughs) (laughs) It's like, hey, buddy, that stuff is fake. (laughs) 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 And uh, have you guys ever, (laughs) you know how you can't say anything anymore, right? Like, especially if you're at a silent disco. (laughs) I mean, you can, but no one will hear you. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Uh, I have a Harry Potter tattoo on my ankle. (laughs) Yeah, I have a Harry Potter tattoo on my (laughs) ankle. (laughs) It's kind of embarrassing. But don't worry, guys. I got it way before I knew J.K. Rowling was over the age of 40. (laughs) We hate when women do that. We really do. Um, yeah, I saw this woman the other day in a cafe wearing a hat that said books on it. (laughs) I was, like, really confused. I didn't know what she wanted us to know about it. Like, does she love to read books or stack them or use them as a weapon? Like, I don't know. It was just really confusing, you know? It's like when I wear my shirt that says cats on it. It's like people think I'm referencing the musical, but it's just my favorite food. (laughs) Just my favorite food. (laughs) Um, I recently uh, decided to add fresh farm veggies to my daily diet. Um, And I started feel what I didn't realize is I felt very different on a daily basis. You know? (laughs) I was (laughs) I was so tired from all the digging. Okay, you know how guys watch porn because it's unattainable, (laughs) right? (laughs) That's how I feel about cartoon food. Yeah, I want to fuck the pizza from Goofy Movie. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, I'm a I'm a movie buff. Any movie buff heads in the house? Yeah. Like, I know all the terms. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but they used to call movies talkies. (laughs) Yeah. Like, here, I'll give you an example. So, like, women talking from last year, some people would call that a talkie. I'd call it a lecture. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> did uh did any guys laugh at that? <laughs> Uh, you ever hear a guy call himself a feminist? It's like, okay, all right. I have one rule. If you're a guy and your dreams pass the Bechdel test, you might be a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll leave you guys on this. Uh. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> uh, I like having sex on water beds. Because I can go down on a guy like this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Scene Charlie, take one. Hey, girl, back there. <laughs> Wait, what? 